Good morning, traders. So, I'm going to have a look at the Aussie um, separately. I'm going to look at the Dow separately and the, the DAX separately, just to try and keep the videos uh, a little bit shorter. You know, it makes life a bit easier for everybody, including me uploading. So, um, I think with the Aussie, we have finished the week pretty well. So, the important thing here is we have this massive rejection pin bar on the weekly. And the other thing that you can see on the weekly is we have a channel. At, so we do have a channel. Um, we've also rejected this level with the previous break count. You can see we hit there twice um, off the bottom of the, the cloud. The only concerning part is that we have had a, a crossover of Tickinson and Tickinson here, and we're pointing to the downside. And the cloud is starting to thin here, and the sequence band has broken below price. So there are a couple of um, bearish signals, but so from a price action perspective, this candle here is a very good indication that the, the buyers are stepping in. So if we do have a look at the, the daily, um, again on the daily you can see that the cloud is flattening out, you can see how the top line is starting to go horizontal and the bottom line, and Kittinson and Tickinson are both flat as well. So the, we do have um, sort of a um, there, there is, there's looking to be scope for price to go up. But so if we just look at um, the Ichimoku environment, as long as price stays between Tegenson and Tegenson there, typically that will indicate that we will range. So we will use uh, Tegenson as um, as resistance, and we'll use Tegenson as support. So price would need to break above that. And hold about that before looking to the next target which would be 200 and then the cloud okay and then obviously you've got this descending trend line which would also come inside of the cloud but there is um there's an interesting setup uh, and especially with uh, the chaos that's happening on on the u.s markets and um, what's starting to happen is that the aussie and the european markets are starting to hold their own which is always a good sign. So, if we look at the four hour, we can see we have a similar environment. So, this block is the daily uh, Kijinson and Tikinson. Kijinson on the top and Tikinson on the bottom. And you'll often see between the different time frames how um, Kijinson and Tikinson will actually overlay on each other on the, the different time frames, as it does here. So, there's a couple of things to note here. We starting to point to the upside with Tickinson. Okay. We are above uh, Tickinson here. So, the 50 moving average EMA is holding up price at the moment. And I think, let's just look at where, there's the next breakout test, is over there. Okay. And that almost coincides with the top of the cloud. It could also coincide with 100 EMA. So there is a target area here where a reversal will probably more than likely happen. Okay. Um, so I'm doing this video on Saturday morning. I'll be traveling a bit over the next two days, uh, the first two days of the week. But with the Dow falling 500 points on Friday, now futures is pointing to a a gap of four four hundred and four hundred. Let's just call it four hundred pips. Now just just done four hundred pips. So in the, the bigger scheme of things, as far as the Aussie's been going in the last couple of weeks, it's four hundred pips it seems to be the norm. But yeah, so I still I still think the opportunity here is for a long. And um, 
often what you find when Christ is turning a corner, if you look here, how long we sat in this little area before breaking up to the upside. And there was another one. I mean, here you had a long sideways movement. Okay. So I think probably some more volatility, uh, a little bit of a pullback. And what you can actually do is just drill down to the hour and put your levels in on the hour. Okay. Um, what I actually what I want to show you is some daily here. On my weekly. Okay, so this here, let's just move that on to that breakout there. So you can see how, how much interaction there is with this price. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to make that red and let's just make it a bit thicker. Okay, so it's pretty much previous breakout there, we touched it there, there, there. So it's a pretty strong level. Alright. And I want us to come down to the hour and have a look what happened here. So the open was moved down to the downside. On the hour we had the 50 moving average and we were in the cloud. But this level had been broken on the day, which is a very strong level. Okay. on the hour, there is your previous breakout, okay, and we've tested, 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 and then eventually broke through. So we broke through late afternoon trade before falling off a little bit. But for me, this breakout has been tested, we've tested, 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 and then broke through. So for me, there is still long brewing here. What I want is to um, Chico span the brown line to break through the cloud, and I'd expect to pull back, even if it pulls back into this area. That's where I'd be looking for a long. And lastly, what that gives us is um, so there's a right shoulder, there's the head. And if we pull back to that environment there, there's, there's the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder. Okay. So, everything to me on the, the lower time frame is already pointing to the change in direction happening to the upside. Anyway, I hope that helps. That's Aussie, and uh, catch you guys later.